After arriving back home in California, Mandy Moore caught all of her followers up on what she and husband Taylor Goldsmith did on their action-packed honeymoon in Chile These crazy kids just got back from honeymooning in Chile The This Is A Star, 34, wrote alongside an Instagram photo of her and her husband taking one of their numerous plane rides on the trip Apologies to friends who saw some of these in real time but wanted to share a few selects from our trip now that we're home, she wrote And biggest thank you to at Twinitesen for planning the trip of our dreams Can't wait for our next adventure To start things off, the newlyweds headed to Patagonia, a region spanning the southernmost tip of Argentina and Chile In addition to relaxing by the waterfront, where the star got to kick back and be serenaded by her husband, who is a member of indie rock band Oz, the couple also took a trip to see glaciers and went on a scenic hike near a lake, which Moore described as my happy place Mandy Moore and Taylor Goldsmith From there it was off to Huerquahue National Park, which is located in the foothills of the Andes Mountains, where the couple took an additional hike, even though Goldsmith, 33, didn't seem like he was that into it The look of a man whose wife forces him on a hike more captioned a photo of the pair standing together Taylor, Goldsmith and Mandy Moore The couple's travels also took them to the Villarica, one of Chile's most active volcanoes, as well as the Atacama Desert, one of the driest places on Earth Before one of their hikes, the couple also made time for a romantic private dinner inside a picturesque greenhouse Mandy Moore and Taylor Goldsmith Mandy Moore and Taylor Goldsmith And of course, this isn't the first time the couple has taken an epic trip together Earlier this year, Moore and Goldsmith summited the highest mountain in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro, which the actress had been dreaming of doing since she was 18 Moore and Goldsmith tied the knot on November 18 in an intimate backyard ceremony After saying I do, Moore and Goldsmith performed for guests by singing their own rendition of The Things I Might Have Been by Chris Christopherson and Rita Coolidge at their reception A source previously told People that the small, intimate ceremony took place in Moore's backyard in Pasadena in front of about 50 friends and family members All the decor was pink, which matched Moore's dress The ceremony started right after sunset, said the source It was boho chic and very romantic There were a lot of pink decor, flower arrangements and candles The reception took place at the Fig House, a private event space in Los Angeles, the source confirmed Several celebrity guests were in attendance, including Mink of Kelly and Moore's ex-boyfriend Wilmer Valderrama Moore and Goldsmith got engaged in September 2017 He proposed with a custom Irene Newworth ring, featuring a round-cut diamond on a rose gold band, after the pair who met on social media, had dated for two years